I have been a Mason for a little bit over four years. I became a Mason mainly because uh, my grandfather was a Mason and I had deep respect for him. He was a, a good man. Not that I really even knew that he was a Mason until he passed away because uh, he had a Masonic funeral is when I really it, I may have known it before, but it didn't really click for me. And um, I think that was one of the main drivers. Not only that, but I felt a sense like I wanted to have a more positive um, influence in my life. Something that would give me opportunities to be helpful in the community. And uh, I think those are really the two reasons I decided to join. Freemasonry has fulfilled my expectations that I had before and given me new expectations for myself. Uh, it's, I always equate Masonry as an opportunity, a series of opportunities for brothers to grow as people, to become better people in the, in the community, in their own families, and in themselves. I found out about masonry uh, by going to my grandfather's funeral. And my uncle is also a mason, my grandfather's son, on my mother's side. And I asked him, and he, is from Pennsylvania where they're a little bit more strict about how many times you're required to ask a Mason before you're a, they're allowed to talk to you about it. So first few times he kind of said, yep, okay. And then uh, uh, they, my aunt and my uncle had come out to visit us and my aunt kind of gave me a little nudge about it. Why don't you ask your uncle about Masonry again? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I did. And uh, he, he talked a little bit about, about more about it. And uh, he went ahead and called the Grand Lodge here in Arizona and found a couple of uh, more active lodges for me to in investigate becoming a member. And Paradise Valley Silver Trial was the closest lodge that, uh, to where I was living at the time. So I called up the secretary and came on down and talked to the secretary. Being an officer in the lodge, it takes, uh, it takes a large portion of my personal time. And uh, mainly because there's a, a lot of administrative things that I have to take care of and in terms of running the lodge. Uh, there's ritual that I need to uh, memorize and be proficient in. There's consoling and, and being there for other members. I, that's a portion of, of my position and, and uh, that takes another, uh, it can take a good chunk of my time sometimes. Uh, I also, being uh, a, what's called a pedestal officer or one of the higher level officers, you're expected to devote uh, more time than, than an average member. And, uh, and I think even though sometimes it feels like I'm always here at Lodge, it's definitely worth it. I think the only thing that I wish that I could have been able to do was is, uh, had interest in, in knowing more about masonry before my grandfather passed away so they could have gone to lodge to, together but in terms of what I know about masonry I think that uh, it's uh, I think I'm happy with what I've learned so far well 
Well, like I said, depending on the jurisdiction you're in, you just have to ask, just the amount of times you have to ask. Here in Arizona, it's a lot, a little bit, uh, a little bit more lax in terms of, of uh, how many times you have to ask. You really just have to ask once, and we're more than willing to, to give you any information that you'd like to find out. I would recommend going to the Grand Lodge webpage, or you're welcome to come to our own webpage, and uh, it provides the information for how to join and some of the basic history, and even some of the detraction to masonry. So.